What's up guys, this video is gonna be a quick continuation on my first video, Deep Speech, uh, Speech Recognition Part 1. In this video, we're just gonna start running inference on the GPU, so not much is different other than we wanna see if we can run everything on the GPU rather than the CPU. So what we'll begin with is creating another separate virtual environment for this. So we'll do conda, and you can see I already created one, uh, DSGPU. So what you'll do is create one really fast. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just calling it DSGPU and giving it the latest version of Python. So after you create it, you can activate it. And then we'll just pip install deep speech dash GPU. And this will make sure that the binary actually runs on your GPU rather than, rather than your CPU. I've already installed it, but you'll want to run this command right here. So just pip install deep speech GPU. The next thing you'll want to do is get the model and audio files. If you're following along, you probably have these already, so you don't need to install all of this stuff or pull this all down. Uh, but if you don't, then just curl down the models, curl down the audio samples, and untar them both. After that, we want to make sure that you should make sure that you have an NVIDIA GPU and the proprietary drivers installed. You'll be able to tell that you have that if you can run this command here, NVIDIA SMI. NVIDIA, MS, NVIDIA SMI will show you like what your load um, on your GPU is, all the processes that are using your GPU, and so on and so forth. So it's a pretty useful command and it's also a good way to test if you have the, um, the proprietary drivers installed. So after that, um, you might have installed CUDA, you might have installed QDNN before. If you already have them, you probably you already have a way to do this. But if you don't, a very easy way to install them is just to run conda install CUDA toolkit. And we're going to be using 10.0. So you can run that. I already have it installed, so it's not going to say much for me. And then install QDNN as well. And I already have that installed as well. These can take a little bit, um, especially the CUDA toolkit, I think, took a significant amount longer than QDNN. If you install CUDA toolkit first and pin it to a specific version like this, QDNN will just install the proper one for that specific version, version of CUDA toolkit. After that, we're ready to run inference again. So let's take a look at this command. All right. Now, if you remember from the first video, we ran it on the, the um, same exact audio file. So it's experience proofs list, but it was experience proves this, and we got the same exact output. We got the same output even though we ran on the GPU because it's the same exact model. The idea was that it'll just run faster. So you shouldn't get better results. You should just get a faster inference time from this. Um, you can tell that it actually ran on the model if you start seeing things like NUMA nodes, um, all this kind of output that is GPU specific. You should see things like CUDA and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and that's pretty much it.